You talking to me? Eh? Are you talking to me? Bang, banging on the coffin nails Like a breath exhaled Been gone forever It seems like just yesterday How did I miss the red flames Racing back the days we left Hey, this is Dylan D'Antonio Back with my uh, 31 favorite movies of all time review thing Where uh, today we're doing day 30 Taxi Driver. So Taxi Driver is one of Martin Scorsese's best film, starring Robert De Niro in one of his, you know, most memorable roles as Travis Bickle. I have a question. What is Bickle? Like, is that German, Italian, maybe Russian? Like, what? Like, what ethnicity is Bickle? Sorry, I've just always kind of wondered that. But anyway, anyway, Travis Bickle, he's a guy who decides to become a taxi driver. He's basically, um, well, a train wreck ready to happen. And what I mean by train wreck is, well, he's, all, he's always thinking like, you know, man, there should be like a rain that comes, takes care of all this scum and just swash them off the earth, man. Some should just really get rid of all the scumbags in the world. And usually when people think like that, someone's ending up going to get shot. So Travis, you know, is on the brink of insanity, and then he meets this girl named Betsy. And Betsy, you know, he, she's like, you know, the nice girl, you know, the pretty girl that this scum of the earth hasn't touched yet, as he put it. And they really seem to get along, like, this chemistry between them and such. But then Travis does something stupid. He takes her to a porno. Now, for you young kids out there, back in the 70s when this movie was made, it's not like today where you can just Google lesbian lovers and then get hundreds of video. No. Back then, you actually had to go out to a movie theater and watch a porno. Man, that had to be one awkward movie, like, Hey man, what are you doing here? Watching Lesbian Lover 7. Oh, that's cool. Just, uh, make sure you don't get any of it on my shoes. Basically, it's an awkward situation. And also, you would buy, like, candy and popcorn there, which was always weird to me, like, Oh yes, I would like to have some juju beans and some popcorn before I go and watch Jen and Jameson's latest romp. But I digress. So Travis takes him, her to a porno movie because apparently that's what he hears all the hip couples do. Oh, Travis, you poor, naive fool. And basically, she's like, okay, this guy's a weirdo, let me leave. And this brings up a good point. Everyone in this movie, like, doesn't give him a chance to explain himself. He's like a kid, kind of. Like, he doesn't know he did something wrong, but, and you know, he's trying to apologize to be nice about it. But everyone's like, you crazy psycho. And that really turns him into a crazy psycho at parts. So Betsy is, uh, like, trying to get this guy elected to president. Travis decides, oh, wait, I know what I'll do. I'll kill him in revenge or to get her love back. I don't really remember why. And then he decides to take out this Charles Palantine, who's the guy running. And along the way, he meets 12-year-old prostitute Iris, played by Jodie Foster, one of her first and biggest roles. Fun fact, Jodie Foster's role in Taxi Driver inspired... Uh, John Hinckley to try and assassinate Ronald Reagan because he thought that would get her to like him Which is always weird to me because like what is he gonna say? Hey Jody, uh, I killed Reagan. Want to date me? Not a good opening line, man. So back to the thing, um, he tries to kill the president, Travis, but he ends up not succeeding because the Secret Service men like, he looks creepy, go get him. And he fails, so then he goes to where Iris is like doing her business and he kills her pimp and some other people and you know he's like got a mohawk going on and he's like okay I'm gonna die now but then he becomes like a hero and everyone's like this man saved that little girl from being used in sexual slavery and he basically becomes a big hero by accident and you know he's really happy like the thing he wanted throughout the whole movie he gets and Betsy kind of like forgives him and they're gonna maybe start over I liked it so this whole movie is basically like a man going insane with Robert De Niro, who, yeah, he was great in this movie, just, like I said, it's one of his most well known movies, so, you know, he was awesome. And this movie is one of those movies that, you know, it's classic. Everyone knows about it, everybody loves it, it's one that will stand the test of time. And, you know, I really feel for the Travis character. I mean, through the whole movie, he's just getting more and more depressed, and he's just going to this dark kind of, you know, like, hatred and sadness and... You know, the world's just kind of screwing with him, and it's, you know, screwing with, and screwing with his mind. If I had any advice to Travis Bickle, I'd say... It's always darkest just before the dawn. Yeah, 
I just really like that song, you know, if I throw it in there. Yeah, but Rob De Niro was great in this. I think he should have got an Oscar for his performance, but he didn't. But then again, this is the Oscars, and they never gave George Lucas an Oscar for Star Wars, so I'm not surprised. But, anywho, he was great. Um, his supporting cast was great. Uh, Silbert Shibbles, Sh 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 Shibbles, uh, Sh Shelby Sh Shelby Sh Silbert Shepold or uh, Sh Shibby Sh Shyness Shepold? No, Sidney Shepples. No, Sh Shibby Sh the girl who played Betsy was good in the movie. Sorry, I, I couldn't remember her name. What? So the girl, Silver Shepherd, or Shibby Shabby, blah, 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 whatever her name was, she was good in the movie. She she actually looked really good. Like, she, like I think she looks better than some of the women today. But, you know, that's just my own opinion. I like the classic. And uh, Jodie Foster, she was good in it too, I guess. For a kid prostitute, she wasn't, like, that depressing. You got uh, Ray Romano's father from Everybody Loves Raymond in it as a wizard. He was pretty good too. But anywho, uh, this is a great movie. Um, I will admit, if you're gonna watch it, it's kind of like a, like a mind twister. Like I said, it's all about, uh, Travis's, like, you know, spiral into madness in a way. But then he comes out of it, so, you know, it's not one that kind of, you have to be in the right mood to watch, but, you know, when you're in that mood, man, it blows you away. It's awesome. So I give this movie a booyah on my rating chart. But yeah, go watch Taxi Driver if you have the chance. It's a really good movie. This concludes day 30, on to day 29. Thank you and have a pleasant tomorrow. See ya.